Myrtle's house. I know she's at Myrtle's house. I'm gonna call. Okay. What's happened? Uh, Laura's gone. She ran away. Why? Do you know? She found out about Pierce and me. And you'll be happy to know that we... we called it off. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Are you all right? Thank you for containing your delight. Would it shock you to know that I am not delighted? A poor, lost girl alone? Well, that makes me very sad. And I certainly don't relish the thought of seeing you in pain. Excuse me. You're the last thing she needs right now. <sighs> you talking to me? Look, Brooke's torn up enough as it is. And you're trying to shift the blame to me. She can't deal with you right now. No, 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 no. You're projecting, my friend. You are the one that has been a drain on, on Brooke's life. And she finally sees it. I told you this day would come. It's just a minor setback. Oh, I quite agree. Laura will come back. Brooke will get her life back on track. You are an aberration. She'll soon forget. Don't count on it. Don't kid yourself. I love Brooke. Well, she doesn't return the sentiment. The thrill is gone, my friend. Why don't you just disappear? I don't give up that easily. <sighs> Neither do I. Brooke, everything's gonna be all right. I don't want you to worry. We'll find her. I'll get my PIs on it right away. I, what I need is a, is a recent photo of, of Laura. No, no, forget that. I'll use the stills from your banquet. <laughs> Woman of the year. You've come a long way. You and Laura. Trust me. I won't let you lose her now. Do you really think that you can find Laura? I won't allow you to lose another child. What if she doesn't want to be found? Well, you know me. If I set my mind to something, that's as good as done. Thank you, Adam. Laura, Laura's not at my house. What about the shop? Do you think she would go there? Well, uh, I know she hid there once, so look, I'll, I'll go and have a, a, a try, see listen, if she's Listen, there. listen, if you find her. And I'll call you, no, I'll call you. No, take her back to your place. Give her her old room back for as long as she wants. I will pay for it. Just don't tell her, all right? Please darling, do this. Darling, she belongs with you. She doesn't trust me, Myrtle. Oh, honey, she's angry now, but she'll get over it. Maybe not. I don't know where she's going to go. Where's she going to go? To another foster home? To some group home for teens? I, it's not what I want from... Your daughter. I know, I know. Don't worry, I'll break out my best party manners. Good, good, because this is important to Haley. I want her to be happy. I think Mateo was very good for her. The waiter? Yeah, he's, uh, he's ambitious. He'll make his mark. Haley and I have talked about him. Assets versus liabilities. Haley thinks he'll do well in business. And if he doesn't? Well, that's not an option. <laughs> well, does Matteo know that? You've met him? What do you think? Well, you could swim in those dimples. I was referring to his character. Oh, he's got character, too? I think Matteo loves Haley for all the right reasons. Which are? Haley's had a rough time, too, you know. She's not always easy. Mateo seems to accept her for what she is. You know, it's, it's rare that you find someone who loves you at your worst and who adores you at your best, someone who knows you inside and out, who's willing to stand up to you and, and tell you when you're wrong, you, you hate it, <laughs> but you listen. Someone who makes you better than you are. Someone who stands up nose to nose with you and even finds romance among the ruins. That's some tribute. Oh, Matteo's a fine young man. Who's talking about Matteo? That aria was about your ideal. So tell me, Daddy, 
She real? Does Adam Chandler's perfect woman actually exist somewhere in this universe? Yikes. Did I tread on hallowed ground? We have to finalize the details on this Kinder episode. In the next five minutes? We are not prepared to do it alone, Skye. Who's alone? I trust Ted is cooperating. He's staying out of my way. It's probably better that way. Daddy, I stayed in Pine Valley to rebuild our relationship. Don't shut me out. Who is she? As if I can't guess. No, you don't have to guess. It's Brooke. It's always been Brooke. The once and future Mrs. Adam Chandler? If I have anything to say about it. You still love her? The one constant in my life. But you're not seeing her. Not at the moment. But she can't fight the inevitable. You know, it's funny. So much is still so unclear, but I remember when you two were married. You do? Very clearly. I liked you better then. <laughs> you weren't so rigid, oh. serious. <laughs> I remember once Brooke got me laughing about doing my taxes. <laughs> I adore her. She's uncompromisingly honest and truthful. <laughs> that smile. Well, Janet said that you two were dating again for a while. What happened? Pierce Riley is what happened. I was not about to play second fiddle to this new age Paul Bunyan. Well, what could Brooke possibly see in him? Oh, the tortured past, the... Artistic soul, the... He gave her space. Ha <laughs> ha, whatever the devil that means. Mark my words. This phase is about to run its course, and Mr. Pierce Riley is going to be history very soon. You sound sure of yourself. Brooke is the champion of the downtrodden. Give her a lost soul or a cause to conquer, and she steps right up to the plate. So, Pierce was a project. A, a diversion. Janet thinks he's incredible. Well, consider the demented source. Don't put down Janet. Any exposure to Janet Green can be dangerous to your health, Skye. Well, I hear Pierce is doing quite well. Yeah, that's why the bloom is off the rose. Brooke's job is nearly done. Trouble? She hinted that all's not well. They broke up? Not yet. And when they do? Then I'll take things in hand. Translate. Some things you fight for until your last breath. You are. You're dropped dead in love. I'm late for a meeting. So hold, hold tight on that budget. And call me if you need anything. Well, that was fast. May I come in? Yeah. Thank you. Is something wrong, or...? Well, you tell me. The last time I saw you, you were rather distraught. Oh, at the hospital. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you were very kind, Adam. I'm sorry. I, I should have called you. You can call us your private detectives, because... Laura's back. She's back. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. Is everything all right? Yes. Yeah. I think we're going to make it this time. I'm glad to hear that. Is there anything else? Am I being dismissed? No, no, of course not. I just wondered... Why I'm here. Well, frankly, yeah. Concern isn't enough? Well, as you can see, I'm fine. Poised, yes. But fine? I hope so. You know about Pierce. Apparently, Pierce left without a forwarding address. He's in Santa Fe. Oh. He did inform you of yes, his plan. Yes, he informed me. Yes. 
while I'm waiting. For what? For the obligatory I told you so. Obligatory for who? No gloating. <laughs> no, I much prefer dinner al fresco or maybe a midnight swim. I can't. Well, how about a, maybe a Broadway show, or a concert, or a, a quiet walk down to the lake? Whenever the mood strikes you. And if it doesn't? Well, then we'll just have to do something to cheer you up. We? You still have my number. Aren't you listed? Just in case. Give my regards to Laura and Jamie. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, Adam. 